yes. salaries have become salaries um, what, what 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 is going on what who is what is not happening um, first of all I want to correct the, the impression that teachers are ever demanding salary mm -hmm. um, right from 2011 we had we, we, we had uh, negotiations. We agreed with the government on a 50% salary increment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was supposed to be paid in three years. Okay. 15%, 20%, and then 15 Now, that salary for three years is ending this June. The last installment is ending this June. Mm -hmm. So if you count, you can tell how many years those are. So before we look at teachers demanding for what is due to them, we first look at the promises made by government over time. Okay. Now today we are talking of an industrial action which has started today. We negotiated last year from Feb up to June. When we reached June on 22nd, we signed an agreement, collective bargaining agreement, with the government, detailing what was supposed to be given to all civil servants. Mm -hmm. Government had 536 billion shillings, which catered for the first batch. And we agreed the second batch would earn their increment come 2019, 2020 financial year. Right. It is in black and white. Now today, there is a budget which is before parliament, and there is nothing like salary enhancement. So who should be blamed or who should be questioned at this point in time? You know, just for the sake of the viewers and to give context to this conversation, because yes. people want to get, where is the history, where is this stemming from? Let's take a listen at this particular story. Since last year, there have been ongoing negotiations between teachers and the government of Uganda over salary enhancement. The different unions entered an agreement with the government in June 2018, which was to take immediate effect. However, since then, government has been silent on the salary enhancements of some civil servants. In response, the teachers under the umbrella body, Uganda National Teachers Union, gave a 90 days ultimatum on 19th February where government had to honor its promises or else the teachers would go on strike. Now, with the 90 days having elapsed, the National Organization of Trade Unions has said teachers will go on strike starting tonight. From one minute past midnight today, we are swinging into industrial action. And that means as we prepare for second term, teachers will not go to schools. As a center where these are our affiliates, we are giving a go ahead to do our mobilization for this strike to take place. Philbert Bagoma, the general secretary of UNATO, says the teachers will not give up on their demands unless government honors their pledges. Asha Wilson Owere says government should have communicated to the workers rather than keeping silent on the salary demands. So when, when we demand what we agreed on and is not fulfilled, I think the blame goes back to them. Uh, a notice of 90 days is given, a letter is written to government and up to even when the notices are expiring, the government does not communicate. And yet there is an agreement between workers and the government. You know, this kind of arrogance should stop. Other unions have put government on notice that should it fail to indicate salary enhancements in the budget of the next financial year, by 30th of this month, they will also lay down their tools. We are also calling upon all the workers of the country to be on the alert that come 31st of this month, 30th of this month, and the government has passed the budget, and no salary enhancement has been captured for all the workers of the country, then industrial action will proceed. 
They say the teachers' industrial action is in line with the law and they do not expect any threats from government officials. Jumakiria, NTV. Of course, later on, we'll be touching base with Mr. Patrick Muyinda, the Ministry of Education spokesperson, to get the view from the ministry's perspective. Mr. Baguma, yes, it's been a push and pull. I mean, the promise initially was that this money is going to be given to you people in three consecutive years. First in three you know, years, pretty much. But since then, it seems like government is really struggling to honor up to its word. Are we not pretty much maybe understanding the side of things? You, you see, the, the agreement is very clear. Actually, there are not three phases. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to be two phases. The first phase and the second phase. They had brought pay targets for five years. But we said we are going to negotiate for 2018-2019, 2019-2020. Correct. Then going forward, the remaining three years, we shall get back to the drawing table. So what we are demanding is what government committed itself to pay come July this year. Mm -hmm. And that is what we are dem de demanding nothing more have they told you anything with regards to the same i mean they're supposed to pay in june this year july. but july this year yes. but uh, we are yet to get to that date we are yet to get there and there is nothing they have communicated and that's why we have started our industrial action are you not being unreasonable i mean we're yet to get to july pretty much um, are you not being impatient so to speak are you, are you saying that maybe you have tried to communicate to them to see are we still gonna get this money come july or what is informing this industrial action what, what do you mean by reasonability if we have if we agreed certain negotiations from the month of february over a number of meetings, we come to June. We sign an agreement on 22nd June 2018. Correct. They, they have been with this agreement for all this period. We gave them a 90 days notice in February this year. Of the industrial action. And now you are looking at us as teachers as being unreasonable and the government is reasonable. We need to be realistic. This money is supposed to be paid off in July. Yes. This year. Yes. But sir, we are yet to get to that date. But the budget is still in the parliament. All right. So the issue stems from the articulations that were made that this increment will not be catered for in the financial year. Yes. All right. And there was no pro provision for it okay. in the budget, which is before parliament. Correct. Uh, and therefore, any consequences arising out of this should be met by the government and the government should be held responsible and accountable mm -hmm. for its actions and not the teachers all right mr baguma um yes, so what you're seeking is communication from uh, the authorities especially with the ministry uh, to inform you on why they haven't reached out to you as yet it's not that you are the, the agreement like you said it's supposed to be paid out in july yes yes so we still have a couple of months till we get there yes. but your worry is there hasn't been any communication one there hasn't been any communication but we also want to see the money reflected in the budget mm -hmm. because it is not communication per se what we agreed on and signed is in black and white and we expect enhancement of salaries for the teachers in this country so now that um, you haven't seen it reflected anywhere yes in the uh, incoming budget yes you haven't seen it anywhere yes there hasn't been any communication from yes. the ministry yes you will have um a, let's say a week yes to the start to the official kickoff of uh, the town yes so what happens between now and then for us, we have put our case very clear. What remains is for government. We recently saw members of parliament coming out clearly, indicating that they need 40% increment on their allowances. Right. Reason, 
the cost of living has become too high, the fuel pump price has increased, inflation has eaten up the Ugandan shilling, but we stay in the same areas, we go to the same markets, we go to the same fuel stations. So what did the teachers of this country do to this government for them to always harass the teachers and yet they are products of teachers. All right. Okay. Speaking of government, you want to get the side of the Ministry of Education and so on. For we are joined by Mr. Patrick Muyinda. He is the spokesperson of the Ministry of Education. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you so much for answering to our early morning call. We need your honest views with regards to this. Now, we have run this story and of course this is something that you know of course started developing from yesterday now a keen focus of course it did happen yesterday it's been you know snowballing since last week but yesterday now we got the real articulation because the industrial action has already begun now just let us in on this you did articulate and say that you did not receive any notice of the teachers industrial taking on an industrial action is this a true or false because you do have a document um, of their notice a notice that they served to the Ministry of Education in February this year uh, sorry your phone isn't terribly clear but uh, are you asking whether or not we received a letter yes a notice of this industrial action uh, I just uh, discovered on Thursday either Thursday or Friday that uh, uh, there were let us copy it into the ministry. Mm -hmm. I looked through the documents, consulted the permanent secretary, and uh, uh, confirmed with him that uh, he had never uh, the ministry had never been written to. But then later on, we got to discover that uh, they were copied, letters copied into the, 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 the ministry, and those, those documents are usually kept away. They are kept in a folder. They are not put to the attention of action officers. So yes, uh, I, I got that. I got copies from your NATO on Thursday. When you say that this document was, well, actually documents were kept in a folder, and that you only, you know, got to see them Thursday last week, doesn't this tell? I beg, I beg, I beg your pardon. Sorry, you, the phone isn't so clear. I'm sorry. All right, I'm saying Me? you have said that yes. this. This notice was brought to, a, to your attention on Thursday last week. That's when you realized that actually the teachers did actually did serve this notice in February 2019. So you can imagine the gap between when the notice was served, February 2019, to you having a clue of this notice last week on Thursday. Doesn't this tell a lot with regards to how the degree of seriousness that you're taking into this particular matter. A notice that was delivered February 2019 and you only get to see it Thursday last week. Well, uh, I don't think I am really uh, able to give a very authoritative answer to that question because uh, my, my role primarily is to speak on behalf of the ministry with regard to what I have been, what has been brought to my notice, uh, to my knowledge, and I will confirm to you that I have never seen that letter. I only saw it when I got copies, and I have them here with me in my office, and I brought them to the attention of the accounting officer. So it, I have never seen the letter. Doesn't this tell that there are a lot of gaps with regards to how the Ministry of Education actually functions? Does it tell us that there are some weaknesses I, in I, there? I, as, as I said earlier, uh, that, that is something that I can't authoritatively answer, uh, but uh, I can say uh, with confidence that uh, it is something that uh, uh, sh sh should be looked into. Because ideally, if someone is copied into a letter, they should get it as soon as possible. But the practice has been when letters are copied into, I mean, when someone is copied into a communication, the, the priority given to a copy is not the same priority given to a letter written to the ministry. So uh, the permanent secretary confirmed that he has never received a letter written to him. And oh. that's what I reported. All right, sir, let's get into the key 
question of course with regards to this matter there are you know going on strike because of you know government not honoring up to their commitment an agreement was signed and the agreement was that by july this year government would honor up to the word now we oh, have yes. we yes, are yes. yet we are yet to see this agreement or this increment be reflected yes. in the budget what do you have to say to that uh, first and foremost the Ministry of Education and Sport uh, is very, very careful not to, 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 to be off, off hand, not to be uh, off handed as far as this issue is concerned because the teachers are people who are our people. Teachers are our people. So we can't say we have nothing to do with teachers. But again, the reality is everything to do with resources and funds is really controlled at the Ministry of Public Service and the Ministry of Finance. And that having been said, we are very, very sensitive about just saying, well, since this is a public service issue and this is a Ministry of Finance issue, we have nothing to do with that. That's a very careless thing uh, for us to even try to say. That's why we can't say it. The bottom line is the teachers are our people and we want them to be happy and we do everything within our power to, to, to ensure that they are. However, we don't have the power. We don't have the power to make decisions to do with payment. We don't even have the money with us to do so. But we why? Make but proposals for the budget. But and, why uh, then? And uh, where, where that is not possible, uh -huh. we simply keep on appealing. But you and see, even now as I speak, those appeals are ongoing. Yes, Mr. Muinde, of course someone would ask, okay, fine, you're saying that you do not have the powers to influence this particular, you know, um, payment to be Correct. actualized. But why then uh, did you sit down and sign to an agreement with the teachers? I, I beg your pardon? Why then, if you're saying that you did not, you actually do not have the power to make sure that you actualize this particular payment to the teachers, the increment mm. of their pay, then mm. why did mm. the ministry sit down and commit mm. to signing an agreement to this particular demands that they have of their salary increment? Uh, I, as I said earlier, I've, I've repeatedly said, I cannot authoritatively answer that question, but I know one thing is for sure. That agreement uh, that was signed between government and the teachers was done so in very good faith. And I would also want to believe that it was done primarily because there was hope that this was something that was going to happen. And uh, I cannot authoritatively say what may have happened, mm -hmm. but I know it would be very good for me to, to, to consult and inquire mm -hmm. and find out what exactly the issues are. That's what I can promise to do. So, so far you've not I, I consulted since Friday. I put my finger on what the issue is. So, Mr. Mirinda, since Friday you've not consulted? Uh, consulted with Minister of Public Service? Mm -hmm. No, I have not consulted with Minister of Public Service. Any reasons? We do have Mr. Philbert Baguma here. Yes. We do have Mr. Philbert Baguma and he's, 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 he's hungry to know why since Friday you've not consulted. Oh, consulted with Minister of Public Service or with my bosses here? All of them, every stakeholder in No, I have. I have consulted with my bosses. And with the Ministry of Public Service? I have consulted all the way. Yes, I have consulted with the bosses. And the bosses are equally in that situation of being between a rock and a hard place. They're yeah. in that situation. And I know that they are not rested right now. They are mm -hmm. not rested. And I, I even called Mr. Philbert. And I told him that the situation here in the ministry is a very tough one, very, very sad one and tough. Then I what next? To him very clearly. What next then? Um, the teachers have taken on this industrial action. What next for the Ugandan children Firstly, who I, are I, supposed I to resume to school on the 27th of this month? Sorry, I, I missed the first word you said. Yes, so my question is, what next mm. for the students, the children mm -hmm. of Uganda, who are really aspiring yes. to go back to school come the 27th of May? Mm. Mm. Yes, I spoke to Mr. Silbert Baguma and I expressed to him the, the condition and state in which we are in the ministry because it is a very, very... It's a, it's, a, it's a tough and tough thing. I recall even pleading with him, saying, isn't there a way this, this can be halted for now? Because the truth of the matter is, these children are going back and they're not going to be taught. It's very, very hard on all of us, on the parents, on the children, on everybody, for the entire country. It's a very, very tough thing. 
All right. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Patrick Muyenda, um, the Ministry of yeah. Education, the spokesperson right there. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, thank you very much. All right. So, Mr. Peter. <laughs> yes. There we go. Um, yes. It's very hard on the teachers, very hard on the parents, very hard on the ministry, very yes. hard on the parents, very hard on the kids, uh, the yes. children as well, that are looking um, to go back to school. Yes. Uh, according to the PRO there, Mr. Patrick Muyenda, um, he has called you, he has pleaded with you, he has explained to you the yes. situation that is, you know, is at the ministry. But you people have decided to stay greedy and you are still going to go ahead with your action. Yet the man has, he, he the, the way he was explaining was in a pleading way of, I have called Mr. Philbert Waguma, I've explained to him, I have pleaded with him that let's first hold this action and then as, as we look for a solution. You need to withdraw some of the words. <laughs> really, when you say the teachers are greedy, mm. it doesn't fit in this situation. First mm. of all, it is true he called me, but that was last week on Friday. Okay. That is uh, from June last year to May this year. Mm -hmm. That is almost a year. Mm -hmm. Then you have a situation where you are given 90 days, but in the evening of the expire of the 90 days, that's when you get the communication. And having gone to the public mm. to say, yes, we have never been served. I, I think the teachers demand an apology from the ministry to, to lie Ugandans that they have never received communication. Mm. And yet we have a stamped copy, stamped, received, Office of the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education and Sports, stamped and received Office of the Honorable Minister of Education and Sports Correct. on the 21st February 2019. And you go to the media and you say you have never been served. The teachers deserve an apology from the ministry. And two, we are looking at having an implementation to this agreement. Mm -hmm. Parliament is listening. It is up to them to make the children of this country suffer because of promising air. But as far as we are concerned, we agreed on issues. They are documented. We are only waiting for implementation. They still have chance between now and 27th, so that we can have the, the children go to school mm -hmm. and resume teaching, and the teachers get what they deserve and what they were promised. What if the Ministry of Education doesn't do anything in this period that we have between now and the 27th? Yes. What should we be expecting come the 27th, that big day, when we expect our children to go back to school? Obviously, you expect no teacher in the schools. That is what you should expect. All right. Because while the others benefited from this co co um, collective bargaining agreement, mm -hmm. the teachers were waiting. Mr. Baguma, uh, as, as we wrap this up, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mahinda has said his call, he called you. He yes. explained to you the situation of the ministry. Yes. He pleaded with you to hold this action. And you still insist that you're going to go ahead with the action. We have so, started the action. Yes. Yes. Uh, so are you, are you not being... Uh, 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 you have refused to understand the situation of the ministry? We, we do understand, but the ministry needs to come up and do things the right way. All right. OK. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Philbert Baguma, the General Secretary of Uganda Nas uh, National Teachers uh, Union, on phone earlier on, we talked to the PRO Ministry of Education, uh, that is Mr. Patrick Muyenda. And of course, on our social media platforms, we have that poll there, we have that question there for, for you, and we ask you to come and follow. And this is something that affects all of us. It affects the teachers, it, it affects the um, government, it affects... Um, 
the children and you, the parents as well out there that are looking to take your children uh, to school come next week on Monday. And guess what? There will be no teachers if this is not resolved. So we have a space of seven days to resolve this and we need to come together to share ideas on how to make sure that by the time when uh, 27th comes, our children are back in school and the teachers are there to teach them as well because what is very interesting is that uh, as you know as the strike goes on if it's a week or two into it as we learned with Makerere University uh, well the school fees won't change they will still charge you the same fees so we need to come together and work on this anyway uh, we'll get into some of those comments a little bit later on thank you very much sir for joining us this morning and uh, Morning at NTV continues right after this Talk voice bundles with Airtel Mega